Hello everybody, congratulations on purchasing your at-home facial kit for sensitive skin. Um, so by now you would have received your kit and um, depending on whether you purchased a single facial or whether you purchased a, um, a pack of 12, um, you would have received some sponges which look like dehydrated face, uh, space food. You can pop it in your water and then they'll swell to be your sponges. <clears throat> you would also have received your enzyme exfoliation which is like your mini peel. Um, it's nice and gentle for a sensitive skin, so it's only enzymes, which means it works very superficially to dissolve the dead skin cells and make it nice and smooth and soft and um, bright without giving any irritation to a sensitive skin. Okay, so you have two different elements to this. We have the solution and the powder. You'll also have received a tongue depressor to help to remove your peel at home. <laughs> You can also organise brushes if you need one to pop it on as well. You would have received your ampule full of vitamins and nutrients to help to feed the skin cells. And you would have received your rose mask. Again, this comes in two separate sachets that we're going to mix together. Okay. Um, the other optional things that were part of the package were if you wanted to get the bestow, not bestow, sorry, the um, botanical uh, cleansing powder. So this is full of... Um, collagen supplements but also detoxifying elements and we're drinking it every single day um, and it gives the gut a good clean because there is a direct correlation between toxic um, gut and also bad, a lot of uh, bad microflora in the gut um, and um, irritated skin so if we help to clean the gut out that will also help with your sensitive skin as well okay a couple of other things that are optional that you can also use in this particular facial would be a crystal uh, roller and I'll teach you how to use that if you do like it Sensitive skins love this and especially in summertime keeping it in the fridge is actually a really great thing to do to help to drain the skin, drain the lymphatic system and also help to calm and soothe the redness out of the skin. So this is definitely worth the investment. I think it's only $25 um, but it's definitely worth it. Okay. Collagen eye patches as well. So when you've got your mask on your face, it is optional if you wanted to do an eye treatment, you could pop um, your eye mask underneath your eyes and then the, the rose mask on the rest of your face. Okay. So to start with, you should have a completely cleansed skin, which I've already done. Um, preferably, we like you to use a gel-based cleanser when we're using any sorts of peels or enzyme exfoliations because we don't want to have any milky residue on the surface of the skin. So I prefer for a sensitive skin to start out with the Be Calm um, Germain de Cappuccini Milky Cleanser to remove my makeup all over my eyes to remove any mascara or any eye makeup. Um, once you've rinsed that off for my second cleanse, I like to use either the Max Cleanser, the Ageless Cleanser if I need a little bit of AHAs, or um, the Organic Cleanser from Image is also really great. If you need a gel-based cleanser, that's it for a bit more sensitive skin. So completely cleanse the skin, tissue your skin dry, and then we're ready to start, okay? So before we start, you need to prepare your peel. So you'll get your two elements of your peel, the Pure Expert Enzyme Peel, and just get a bowl. So you don't have to have a fancy facial bowl like this. You can just use a, a kitchen bowl. And what we need to do is just mix the two elements together. So opening the powder and pouring the powder and the solution into your bowl, and we're going to mix it. So I like to mix it with the, um, the stick, the tongue depressor that we've given you because the brush sometimes makes the um, the powder get all stuck in the bristles and I feel like you waste a little bit of it. So, just mixing our powder and our solution in your bowl with your um, stick. So it'll start out very runny and I'll show you in a minute what it's going to look like. So basically the um, enzymes are activated when you mix the two together so it's nice and fresh. And so like I said to you, the um, enzyme exfoliation is not a strong peel or anything like that. It's great for a skin that can get a little bit of breakout. It's great. It's a great way to exfoliate a skin that's quite red, quite sensitive and quite reactive because it's a very gentle way to exfoliate the dead keratin sites or the dead skin cells off the surface without drawing any irritation to the cells, okay? All right, so try and get your lumps out with your stick. But this is what it should look like once you've mixed it all together. So it's quite a thick, gluggy consistency. And then that's what we're going to use to put on our face, okay? So you can use your stick to pop it on your face, or you can use a brush. You'll still need your stick to remove it later though, okay? 
So all we want to do is put a nice, thick, generous layer. Now, when we're doing any sort of peeling, there's a few things that we need to be careful of. We never peel over the lips. We never peel over the eyes. So we'll always start above, above the eyebrow, okay? Never go under the eyebrow. And we will never go into the eye socket. So feel where your bone is for your eye socket. And we will only ever stick to below from here, okay? So we don't go anywhere in this area here and not over the lips. You can peel your neck as well. That's a lovely, um, lovely way to get a, a bit of a, a freshen up on the neck as well. Let's start at the cheek area and we're just painting it on nice and generous. Now, it should be nice and thick, but please be careful not to drip it in your eyes. Very, very important. So we don't want any peel flicking in your eyes and we don't want it dripping in your eyes. So no fast movements because we don't want it to flick up into your eyes. Go all the way out to the side of the ear to make sure that you get a nice exfoliation all over the face. It's very difficult doing this into a computer screen rather than a mirror. But that's okay. I'm going to go down the nose. So it should be nice and thick. You probably can't really see it um, in, in the computer, but it should be nice and thick. Right into the corners of the nose is good, but just make sure if you're putting it in there, you remember to remove it from there as well. And then we're finishing with the neck. If there's anything else in your bowl, you can just go and reapply it so it's a bit thicker, okay? You should be using all of your solution. Now this, like I said, is going to gently dissolve the ionic bonds, which is the dead, which is, if you think about the glue that holds the dead skin cells together, which will release them off the skin. So it's very gentle. It's um, far better for a sensitive skin rather than using a mechanical exfoliation or a, or a typical scrub. Or uh, it's also a lot more gentle than doing an, a typical peel as well, okay? Okie dokie. So this needs to stay on the skin for 10 minutes and then we're going to remove it. Okay, 10 minutes is up now. So you need to grab a whole lot of tissues and your tongue depressor and we're going to remove the enzyme exfoliation off your skin. So all I'm doing is just scraping gently, obviously, and then wiping off and then we're going to use a nice hot towel to remove the rest if your skin it has rosacea or very cuperose which means a lot of redness and blood vessels and capillary activity then I would suggest never to use hot water on your skin so when you're washing it in the shower, you need to turn the shower to lukewarm, step out of the mainstream of the shower and um, wash your face with just tepid water. And that's the same as now. You shouldn't have hot water in your bowl if you have a super sensitive skin or very red or rosacea skin, okay? So just lukewarm for you. So now um, just using your hot water and removing the rest of the enzyme exfoliation from your skin. If you do, however, have... Um, uh, a very sensitive skin, I would suggest that you actually cleanse your skin again as well, okay, with your favourite cleanser. Okay, once that's completely removed and you've um, cleansed your skin again, if you've got very sensitive skin, then we tissue dry and then we can use our favourite um, toner as long as there's no alcohol in there as well. So my favourite one is the Oxygen Toner from Germain de Cappuccini because it puts um, antioxidants back into the skin or a bit of glucan which will help to um, protect my skin. And we're just pressing that in so it's wet with our hands. If you've got a very sensitive skin though, this one is actually better for you, okay? 
once we have our toner on then we're going to while it's still wet use our ampule so you'll see that there's a little um, lid you need to push it down to crack it open and then you can throw away the top of the lid okay and that is your serum and there's a decent amount in there so what I would suggest is that you only use half now and then after our facial once we've removed our mask and we can use the other half okay so we're going to pop half of the serum onto our skin and massage that in. So you can do any massage movements that you like, but preferably we like lifting movements. Now if you do have a crystal roller, now's a great time to use it because it will help to infuse the serum better and help to drain and calm the skin before we put the rose mask on as well. So I'll show you a demonstration on how you do this in case you have one of these at home. Okay, so now we're going to use the demonstration on how to do your um, crystal roller at home and to drain the lymphatic system, okay? So um, we are starting at the neck because we have two main lymphatic ducts down here near your collarbones that are going to drain into there, okay? So we want to start by clearing the lymph from the neck and then we'll move up the face and then finally finish draining back down into these places again. So starting on one side of the face, using the big end of your roller, just doing about anywhere between three to five strokes. So for the purpose of the video, so I do not bore you, we will just do three. Then we go to the other side and three, draining the lymph. Then what we want to do is drain the lymph along the jawline. So we're starting at the chin, going out along the jawline, and then down into the neck. Two. And remember, you can do this over your sheet mask or just over a serum. Summertime, if um, you keep it in the fridge and nice and cool, Will help to drain puffiness and dark circles from the eye area really well, okay? Lifting the lymph and draining down into the neck. Last move. Okay. Next, we just go that same movement again, but instead of draining into the neck, we're just going to start collecting all of our lymph here, okay? Right at the bottom of the ear. So three moves, draining it to the bottom of the ear. It still feels nice and relaxing to do it on yourself. Obviously, having it done in spa feels um, nicer to have someone else do it to your skin, but it's still nice to do at home, a nice little ritual. And there's obviously the beautiful energizing elements to the crystal as well. Okay, now we're going to do the lips. So get the small end, starting at the side of the nose. We're draining out the top lip, under the bottom lip, and up the top lip. And then again, the other direction. And now what we want to do is drain from the side of the nose down here. Well, our nasolabial fold, where we, a lot of us have lines we don't like. Just draining. Then we're going to do what's called the long journey home. So we're going down the side of the nose, out along the jaw, and then draining down. You don't need to press hard with this because the lymphatic system, the lymph actually just runs right underneath the skin. So it's actually very superficial. Last one. Remember you can do five. In spa we do five of each move because it's quite hypnotic and relaxing for you as well. Going back to using your big end, what we're doing now is draining the lymph from the side of the nose to the bottom of the ear. Collecting it back at that point we did before. So draining and lifting. 
Then we're doing the other side. I'll swap hands so it's easier for you to see. Draining and lifting. Okay, now we're doing that same move but with the little end underneath our eye. We're actually going to collect it here, then we'll bring it all the way down at the end. Okay, so the small end, we're just going under the eye, draining out to the temple. If you do have dark circles and puffiness, you can do up to 10 moves on this area here. Okay, then we're going over the top of the eye. So just on the eyebrow, eyebrow bone there, we're draining out again to the temple. Other side. Okay, now what we're doing is the forehead draining to the temple. Using the big end again, just above the bone, a little bit higher, and then even higher again. So three lines, just above the bone, in the middle, and then higher. And we do that a third time, so we've got three lines and three times each line. Again, we're draining to the temple, then we're going to collect what we've drained to the temple and what we've drained at the bottom of the ear and bring it all the way down to drain it out into those main ducts, okay? So if you're doing this over your sheet mask, it's a lot easier if you uh, lay down on your bed. That's why I took mine off because it kept falling off my face and couldn't take myself seriously under that but for you better for you to do it laying on your bed okay okay so now we're just going to go back to this side here and we're going to do three strokes collecting it from the temple the side of the ear the side of the neck down into our main ducts and we'll do that again. For this last move, I suggest you do this at least five times because we really want to drain all that lymph. Now, if you don't know what lymph is, so your body has your heart that pumps blood through your circulatory system. Your body also is such a wonderful mechanism that it has your lymphatic system that pumps lymph to eliminate all of the toxins and metabolic waste through your body and that's what keeps you nice and clean and healthy. When we have a sluggish lymphatic system, can be from eating foods that are not great for us, can be from lack of movement, because the lymphatic system does not have a pump like the heart, um, so it only moves lymph through our body through gentle movement and exercise or manual manipulation. So that's why walking, um, that's why Tai Chi, walking, yoga, um, gentle exercise or massage is so great for us because it forces the lymphatic system to work more effectively. When your body has less toxins built up because you have a very good lymphatic system, it's nice and clean, you're eating lots of green, fresh fruit and vegetables, um, then you'll feel more vibrant. And last one. There we go. So your skin should be nice and drained now after having your beautiful crystal roller. Now that your serum's completely infused into the skin and you've drained the lymphatic system with your uh, crystal roller, now it's time to put on your mask. So you'll have two different sachets, the powder and the solution, and all we need to do is mix them together. Again, you can just use a, a normal bowl from the kitchen. And so we just need to be careful not to spill the powder everywhere. And it's beautiful rose ingredients. So you'll see it's nice and pink. Mixing the solution in there as well. Oops, if I open it more. 
Okay, now this um, does stay slightly chunky, um, and you'll know what I mean in a minute when I show you. Um, so if you do have a brush, now's a good time to use that. Just be careful that when you're mixing it that you don't spill it all because it's very liquid to start. And it starts to thicken up. Okay, so we're just mixing all of those ingredients together until it becomes thicker. And then we're just going to paint it onto our skin. So it should be nice and thick now, just like that. Looks beautiful. Looks like jam. <laughs> smells beautiful. Smells like roses. And it's great to calm the inflammation on a sensitive skin um, for a very stressed skin um, and for a very red and cuprous skin. Okay. And then we're just painting that on. So once you've got it all on, then you can go back and make it thicker when you have leftover, okay? We want this mask to stay on the skin for 20 minutes. Again, if you have a crystal roller, now's a great time to do it again because you'll find that when you're using the crystal roller and you remove the mask once uh, the 20 minutes is up and it's nice and gently removed with your sponges or a very soft face cloth then your skin should be nice and calm and not pink anymore. The rose mask is also super hydrating so you should see that your skin is very hydrated, calm and soothed. There we go, I am looking fabulous and I'm sure you are too. So now, again, get your crystal roller out. Again, if it's been in the fridge, is even better. And perform your facial massage again. If you don't want to do that, or you don't have a crystal roller, then uh, you can just simply lay down, close your eyes, have a little bit of meditation, uh, read a book, or catch up on your social media. Okay, see you in 20 minutes. Okay, welcome back. 20 minutes has passed, and now it's time to remove your mask. Don't forget to not use too hot a water for a sensitive skin. Once you've removed your mask, then you can apply the rest of your multivitamin ampule, and then your favorite eye cream and your favorite face cream. Don't forget, if it's uh, daytime, you need to put your sunscreen on, as everybody does. Otherwise, if it's nighttime, maybe some nice essential fatty acids in your moisturizer will be great, just to help to finish feeding the skin. Okay, have a great day.